In this L2 data mapping video, we're going to go through the easy process of matching a name and address file to any one of L2's databases. This is voter, consumer, constituent, or automotive. In this case, we're looking at the Florida voter file. So the process goes, you go to the upper right-hand corner in your account where it's match and has a little magic wand icon. Sometimes this is squished, so just be the magic wand icon. Either way, you click on it. There's going to be two options to match data. One is a name and address match. The other is an address only match. We're going to go through the address only match in another video. But for now, we're going to go to name and address, regular name and address match. It's going to open up a dialog box, which is going to tell you some of the file specifications, including that the header row must be the first line in the file. So that's the first part. The second part are all the different accepted file types. I'm going to use a CSV today, but you can use an Excel. You can even use the zip Excel as long as there's not more than one tab. Then you have the max file size of 200 MB and then required primary identifying fields. This is very important. Not only do these fields have to be in here in some way, shape, or form, but they have to be labeled exactly as they are written here. So I'm going to give you an example. I've got a file that does need some editing. I'm going to open this up a little bit, but this is a name and address file. It also happens to have birth date here as well. And you can see it says F name, middle, L name, address spelled wrong, city, state, zip. So what I'm going to do is make sure that the headers are all corrected here to match exactly what we need. So it looks like I have to write in here, first name, middle name, last name, address line, which includes the full address here. The city is correct. State is correct. Zip is correct. And birth date is correct. So we have the corrected information now. I'm going to do file, save as, load, underscore one. And I'm going to close the file. Then I'm going to go select it here. I'm going to go to the desktop where I have this saved. Click open. You can see you've got the file name loaded in here. You can change this name here. We'll just call this name list for test. And it's going to email me when it's complete. I'm going to click upload. The process has begun. Once the processing completes, you will receive an email. It looks like this. Match job complete. It has the name of the file. And then you can see the total number of rows matched, 22,020, with the total number of rows input right above that at 22,554. It shows you all matches were within the state of Florida. If there are multiple states within the file, it will match to those states. And then it has some of the unmatched rows as well as 98 rows with input errors as well. You can actually look at the file with L2's identifier and the error columns right within the platform simply by clicking on this link and it will download this as a CSV that you can then work with. But for now, I want to go back to the application and I want to show you how to now create this as a private branch because your file's been loaded, matched to L2's national voter file, and we've come back with the result of around 20,000 or so matches of 22,000 records. So now I'm going to go into private data. You can see there's no branches here currently. I click on the plus sign, and it's going to say upload from file. This little private branch data allows you to upload L2 IDs or state voter IDs unless you've matched the data already using the name and address or address only matching. To do that, you click on Use Previously Matched File. Match File, select the option, and you can see that this list, name, address list, Florida zip load one, it's got today's date. I click on it and then I proceed. At this point, you can change the branch label or you can change the um, email with which a, a, a notification is sent. However, 
Um, I'm not going to do that here. You can do it also once the data is loaded into the platform. You can change at least that branch name. Now, there's some things here that are redundant. So I don't need to include, say, middle name, address, city, state, zip. Uh, I will keep birth date, and I will keep the boole what's called the Boolean ID or the matched field. So this is whether a record matched or not. But the rest of this data is all available within our platform already, so I'm going to ignore the other fields. This also offers you the option of being able to load data with additional fields layered on top of it. So if you had, say, response codes, you could also include those. In this case, we're just simply looking for match or not matched. I'm now going to click OK, and it's going to go through the conversion process. You can see the total number of rows converted, no errors. And then come down here, and you can see the two fields which we chose to match, which was yes, 22,000. Uh, versus unknown, which is the entire rest of the state. This is selectable just like with any other selection within the tool. You can see most of these individual records are within the Jacksonville area. And then you can see the birth date comes up just like any other calendar toggle, and you can work with it just like birth date or, say, uh, registration date or other things like that. And that's how to match a name and address file and load it as a private branch in L2 data mapping.